After sentencing Majid Khan to 26 years in prison last week, a U.S. military jury publicly condemned the CIA's use of torture in their interrogation of Khan, calling it a, quote, stain on the moral fiber of America. According to the New York Times, Mr. Khan spent two hours describing in grisly detail the violence that CIA operatives inflicted on him in, quote, dungeon-like conditions in prison in Pakistan, Afghanistan, and a third country, including sexual abuse and mind-numbing isolation, often in the dark while he was nude and shackled. The CIA declined to comment on the testimony. This is the first time that a, a victim of uh, U.S. torture has been able to testify publicly in this fashion. We have plenty of stories that have come out in books, uh, memoirs, uh, in journalistic accounts, but this is the first to be told in, 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 this, in this fashion. Right. I, I mean, I think the, the big takeaway here is regardless of, of the vile and reprehensible things this man may have committed, and he, he pled guilty. Now, pleading guilty doesn't always mean you're guilty, but let's say he is. Particularly after being hung upside down <laughs> right. in a dungeon. And, right. Fine, Let, yeah. and, but let's put that aside. Let's say right. he is guilty. Right. It is still wrong. It is still morally offensive for a civilized na for the government of a civilized nation to treat anyone like this, mm -hmm. no matter how reprehensible, no matter how evil they are. Um, also, the, the, this, this is not effective, by the way. You know, we can all design some kind of ticking time bomb scenario where, yeah, do you, right. you, do you muffle the baby's mouth when, you know, the militia's coming? Do you, you know, if someone knows the location of the bomb, do you have to torture them? Jack Bauer type stuff, whatever. That's, that's not practical. That's not in 99 out of 100 times. That's not the case. The, the question is, as a routine practice, should we engage in, in horribly cruel and ineffective tactics that do nothing but, 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 but cause um, a, a, a horrible abuse to people? It, like, it, prison, the point of prison is not to torture people. It's to keep us safe from that. Like, these people need to be locked away because they're dangerous, fine. But we don't, we don't gratuitously torture that. Right. Well, this is not a medieval regime. Right, and, it's, and it stains the image of the United States. You, what were you saying was the, the response? And it, it, leaves, right. it leaves the United States just twisting in the wind, attempting to justify it. The, the prosecutor said something Yeah, this is from the New York Times. The lead prosecutor, I'm quoting from the New York Times, the lead prosecutor, Colonel Walter Foster IV of the Army, asked the panel to issue a harsher sentence. He conceded that Mr. Khan received, quote, extremely rough treatment in CIA custody, but was, quote, still alive, which was a, quote, luxury that the victims of al-Qaeda attacks did not have. Lucky to be. Right. He's alive, so who cares? Right, and, and we, we don't actually know exactly whether what anything he did led to anybody being killed. But set that aside, like you said, because we should we should set that aside to have the principled conversation right. about about this type of thing. It's not even necessarily true uh, that victim people who go through this type of torture prefer to be alive. Like there there are there are many accounts from people who say that they just wish they were dead. That 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 death would be preferable to what to what they're going through. So to being kept in a dark room, stripped naked, uh, deprived of food and water, light, um, of any company, obviously, you go, you, it's enough to drive right. you insane. Right, and then you throw on top of that beating, sexual assault, the, you know, just the most extreme type of cruelty you can imagine, and people say, no, I, I would actually prefer death. Right. To that. And just because this is not sympathy whatsoever for terrorists right. or anyone. It, no one should be treated like this. No. Right. And, and we don't. We know we've swept up completely innocent people in these right. kinds of uh, these kinds of just routine uh, grabbing people. And then we, we know not all of these people were had any involvement whatsoever. Again, I don't know the particulars of, of this case. Maybe he was. Maybe he wasn't. We can accept that he was, that he's pled guilty, et cetera. But innocent people. Have, have had to go through right. this as well, or people who right. had no idea what was going on, who, right. or people, had no choice because these, this is a barbaric part of the world where evil people are in charge, and right. it's that or your family. Right, and people were, uh, right, and the U.S. was paying you know, $2,000, $5,000 uh, for suspected al-Qaeda members to uh, the Afghan and Pakistani people, and so, boom, lo and behold, if you have the, the demand, somebody will produce the supply. And all of a sudden, people start saying, oh, yeah, that's Taliban, that guy's al Qaeda, that guy's a terrorist. And they just start selling them for $2,000 to $5,000 each, and they get shipped off to Guantanamo. Or in the meantime, they get tortured to confess that they actually are this thing. So, like you said, you, you, you implement this system, it's going 
to do it to innocent people, but like you also said, that's not the point. Like it's it's wrong, and we should want a better world. We should get some um, some uh, Watt uh, polling on uh, the Hill Harris uh, ex polling data. I, I would be interested in. I remember like in the in the aughts, you know, the terrorism right. debate being such a big debate with you know bleeding heart liberals against torture and Bush Republicans right. that like really number defending was like way the, down. Yeah. I, I, so I wonder I wonder what it is. To, it seems to me, but I would like to. See if that's confirmed that it, it there, there's not as much of a conservative or Republican stake in defending right. the use of those. Uh, yeah, things that'd be worth that'd be worth doing. Maybe we can maybe we can survey that. Yeah, and we'll have more rising right after this.